Cars had a three inch chop in the front. They took about an inch and a half out in the back. I laid the top down so it's got a nice smooth line on it. Um, inside, not only has it been chopped three inches here, but it's been channeled four inches over the frame. That's what helps it sit down so low. I've had uh, Pro Street tires on it, uh, 16 inches wide, 29 inches tall. Um, interior is out of a 63 Thunderbird. It's got the wraparound back seats in it. Uh, the driver's seat is electric. Controls are under the front. Back seats wrap around. We've got a Grant Cherry steering wheel with uh, video gold and cream colored gauges. All the gauges work, everything's there. The CD player is from Alpine. Uh, shifter on the steering column is a piston. Uh, the dash is also cherry. I've got uh, some cheesy little pedals on there that light up at night. I don't know, I think they're kind of cool. Cherry runs up the center, inside the center. A little cubby hole there. Also in this center console, if you flip that up, uh, there's another one there for some controls. Uh, one time I had those controls hooked up and now I don't. Rod doors have got uh, flames embedded in them. There's the interior on this side. Now on the back we've got 20 inch chrome momos that are kind of old school. Um, on the front, uh, this is just a standard rim that's painted to match the flames with a chrome plastic cover like you buy at AutoZone. This isn't a rim, you can put whatever you want on it. It's just only a 14 inch though. Fender comes up, if you have a flat you don't have to drop the whole rear end to change the tire. Inside the trunk. That's where we've got the air ride controls. That's a two gallon tank, all four wheels are independent. Uh, computer under the dash, controls are not mounted on the dash, they're left on the wire so you can mount them wherever you want to. Uh, battery is underneath this side. On this side, we've got the uh, remote distributor with a two cycle motorcycle coil that'll uh, run the flamethrowers. You've also got uh, your wiring right here, so if you ever want to hook up your backup lights or your uh, electric fuel pumps, the wiring from the new wiring harness is laying right there for it. Here are the controls for the air ride. All you got to do is let the air out of the suspension and it'll drop down, and then you shut the key off. When you go to start it back up, five seconds after you start it, it'll come up to ride height. Okay, it just goes like this. seconds takes about two you start them up and away you go and you can hear in the background the pump kicked on uh, the two gallon air tank will raise this car about two times sometimes three times but then the uh, air pump that's underneath the left driver's side frame rail will kick on and uh, that'll pump that air tank back up These are March pulleys. Uh, they are polished aluminum. They've been powder coated so they won't gum up when water gets on them.
wipe the drool off your shirt and I'm going to show you everything that's wrong with it. Okay? So yeah, I think the car looks great. It's been a lot of fun. Runs great. Here's the problem. Body's starting to go to heck on it. I'm going to walk around and show you a few things on the body. Well, that's it in a nutshell. Uh, car runs great. It's a lot of fun to drive. It looks great as long as you don't look too close because the body's going to heck. That's about it. Bit heavy, bit often. Wow, those flowers bloom fast.